I was just about to start the video and say, who thinks that the piglets will be out? Oh look, the piglets are out. Seriously, those piglets, I'm telling you. They're in big trouble. Um, like I said yesterday, this afternoon, I'm gonna be working on either a new cage area for them or, um, I don't know, putting them someplace else because they're starting to drive me nuts. I'm actually heading out to milk. I think I mentioned yesterday as well um, that we've got some things going on this morning, but this afternoon we're good. Um, we're going to go see some family. We're on a mass and then we're going to go see some family. I'm still basking in the afterglow of the hoot nanny. So for all of those who I met yesterday um, in person, it was awesome. Um, if you didn't get to go, I don't mean to leave you out. It was just a good time. Um, hopefully we'll do it again sometime. Maybe if I go traveling, we'll do like a get-together someplace. And it would be just me. I don't think I can take everyone on a trip with me. Maybe if I get a bus, I can just like pick up everybody as I go. Grab Pratt Family Homestead, Lefties, Two Family, Sutton's Days. Every I'm mean, just keep going. down, Right on down the list. Be a long trip though. We'll think about it. Like I said, we gotta go to church. But hopefully, this will at least slow them down. <laughs> I was in milking and they're out again. It's like they don't even care. They don't even care. Anyway, hopefully this helps them out or slows them down a little bit until we can get back this afternoon. I don't clean up too badly, right? Eh? Uh, we're heading to church. My dad is actually already here working on the barn. And. As of right now, I don't see any piglets out. So, maybe the cinder block slowed them down. Well, we are back from mass and brunch. It was great. I ate too much as normal. My mother-in-law made eggs, ben uh, yeah, eggs benedict, like that creamy sauce. Really good. Um, I haven't talked to my dad. He was, um, he actually passed crossed paths with me as he went inside you can see he got that section of the barn primed so I'll have to get a coat of paint on it but I wanted to ask him about the pigs and whether or not any pigs got out the bricks look like they're in the same spot so I kind of think they're, they're still where they're supposed to be so I'm going to ask him and talk to him about it so I got the last piglet back in I don't know if you guys can see way over there. I threw some more cinder blocks in. I'm out of cinder blocks, so hopefully they don't find any more holes. It should slow them down. I'm gonna take this hay bale here, put it in. I'm gonna tie up Prudence so we don't end up with a, um, a runaway cow like we did last time. But while I was moving this, I wanted to show you. I think you guys can see this right here. You guys see that right there? See what that is? Let's see if she'll. Let's see if she'll come on to me. It's a girl. Nope, that's, that's why she's so crazy. Here, let me flip the camera. It's a praying mantis, and I think it's the big one, so it must be a female. She's a. Uh, she's pretty move, moving right now. I don't know if I've ever seen one this active. Oh, she must like his glove better than mine. So, Whoa. oh, we're gonna move her to someplace safe. And away from the chickens. Yeah, and away from the chickens, so she doesn't get eaten and then uh, get this hay bale in there. Well, it's almost like we knew what we were doing or we learned from last time when she got out. Bale's there, sheep and other cow are there, tractor's already back out. All I gotta do is cut off this baling twine and uh, we're good to go, so I'm gonna do that now. I wanted to give a shout out to my new friends, Chad Betton and Justin from uh, Lefty's Hobby Farm. Been doing all of my chores today my crocs you guys don't see them very often but normally i'm either in crocs or i'm wearing muck boots <clears throat> that's kind of how i chill out here sometimes i'll wear shoes depending on what i'm doing but most of the time i'm just kicking around in crocs just the easiest most comfortable thing to do in fact i heard some people were a little bit their legs were sore from so much standing yesterday and uh i was wearing crocs all day my legs were not sore at all just saying. Crock power, baby. Crock power. It's dinner time, and yesterday there was a bunch of giveaways, 
and my kids kept on winning, so we won two packages of West Michigan Pasta Provisions, LLC. This is by um, Part-Time Hermes. Michael, he's a professional chef. He is starting his own business at making this pasta. So we got two packages. We got this canestrini, which is more of like a shell type. And then we got this casserese. And I'm probably not saying this correctly, but that's what we got, which are more kind of like these long, stringy double noodles. See? I've already had a couple of these. They are outstanding. Um, and I expect the other ones to be outstanding as well. And then Homestead Girl um, 1 also won a, here, right here, she won this basket of tomatoes. So my wife sliced some up. Beautiful, beautiful. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. So if you're interested, let me find the information for, um, for Michael's stuff. Oh, okay. West Michigan Pasta and Provisions. Um, West Michigan Provisions at gmail.com. Com. If you're interested in um, ordering it, it's Michael Murray. He's a professional chef. And we've just made this one package, but it is outstanding. Okay, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys here. You know, I like to keep it real. I have zero motivation to prime this wall behind me. Just, I don't know, I'm tired. don't feel like doing it. But I got to fight on through it. Got to get it done. The other thing I'm going to be honest about is I'm not leaving anything back now with those piglets. The piglets get out, and they are fair game. I'm going to knock them off their feet. I'm going to make it so it's not pleasant to be out here. I'm not going to hurt them but it's just not going to be pleasant to be out here. In fact, it's going to be good training for my cage match with Lisa from Sutton's Days at the next Michigan Hoot Nanny. The Michigan YouTube Homestead Hoot Nanny. My ha ha. Lisa, watch out. Training with pigs. Just telling you. Okay, so for all my belly aching, it took 10 minutes to roll on primer. I mean, I knew it wasn't going to take long. I do need to do the door frame still but I need to stop whining remind me that no don't you guys will so don't never mind hey okay, I'm not gonna get you too close cuz it's really not that great a job but you can see I primed the door frame this has been primed one more time so we're one step closer if I can find a chance sometime this week uh, maybe I'll come out here and uh, use a brush and get blue inside there I also still need to caulk. I didn't do that before priming, so um, that should be quick. You know, I should be able to do that sometime this week, no problem. So I'm off to milk. See you guys in a bit. Well, ladies and gentle homesteaders, as we've come to another, the end of another day here on the homestead, I just want to thank you guys for spending a couple minutes with us. Uh, I, I really do appreciate you guys, as overdramatic as I'm being right now. Um, you guys have... You know, only so many minutes in a day that you can spend watching YouTube. And uh, anytime you choose to watch my humble little channel, I totally appreciate it. I cannot be more thankful um, for all my old time subscribers, all my new time subscribers. You guys are the greatest. Uh, I'm heading out to milk. The piglets are still getting out every once in a while. You can see them all laying there. They look, you know, they're trying to look cute because they know they're in trouble. Um, so, I'm heading out to milk. I hope you guys had a great day. I will see you guys in the next video.